අපි බෞද්ධ වැඩිට පිංවතුනි මේ මූ නැඹුල් කරපු විදියට ඉන්න අරකයි ඒක හොඳ ඇඩ්වර්ටයිස්මන්ට් එකක් නෙමෙයි ඒ කියන්නේ විශේෂයෙන්ම දැන් පිට රටයි වුණත් දකින්නකොට සතුටින් විශේෂයෙන්ම අර හේතුවක් නැති සතුට එන්න ඕනේ පිංවතුනි ගොඩක් විට අපිට තියෙන්නේ හේතුවක් නැති දුක ඒ කියන්නේ හේතුවක් නැති සතුට මොකද අපි පිරිසුදු වෙනකොට හිත ඇතුලේ පවිත්‍ර වෙනකොට මොන හරි ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක් ආවත් දැනෙන්නේ නැති එකක් වෙනවා ඒකයි වෙන්නේ ප්‍රශ්න තියෙනවා දැනෙන්නේ නැති එක තමයි මේ ප්‍රැක්ටිස් එකෙන් කරන්නේ ඉතින් ඒ වගේම මේ ප්‍රශ්නයකට ඕනෙකට හේතුව ඇලීම මේ ඕනෙකට ගැටීමකට හේතුව ඇලීම පිනුත් බලාපොරොත්තු දැන් මහත්තුරුන් ඕන්ලයි වුණත් ළමයි වුණත් අපි බලාපොරොත්තු ඒක අපේ කරගෙන මගේ කරගෙන no very nice question when you ask this question even this cool room is getting cool now <laughs> actually you can't control it it just comes you know i have a story you know when i'm preaching like this suddenly you know now i am also having some disciples in sri lanka not that i am i am made them my disciples they have like you know they are just hanging around me now they got some inspiration so sometimes they are like missionaries i don't want them to be like that actually they go and tell what the benefits they got and so on so one day i saw my life was preaching like this do you understand my accent because this, uh, you do understand my accent <laughs> i am having a plain accent you know because this is the accent i i think uh, we used to talk in lesotho or now i for a long time not speaking english i'm speaking singhalese mostly so anyway um in uh, there while i was speaking i mean to the people suddenly i saw one policeman you know he's walking up and down so he came to meet me and to see one of my you know devotees or whoever in sri lanka he has been talking to this policeman you know he has said you know you you people get angry because you are helpless he has told in singhalese language you know asarane hindat ken tiyanne kiyala the me policeman that me the policeman also was thinking is true you know because they always getting angry but because they are helpless and then uh, then he, because he thought getting angry was some power you know something ah to have be like an animal you know he thought it was like that but now he realized that is something a weakness in him so then he has asked who's the one who who taught you all these things like this you know then he has told oh i met this bante like that and he came like that so it's a nice point when you are weak only actually at your age I used to get super angry. How old are you, by the way? Nine. Nine. Actually, at your age, for three days, you, my friend, myself, I was at Trinity. I don't know. Are you in? Uh, at your age, I was at Trinity at that time. Sri Lanka, we have Trinity called in Sri Kandy. Uh, it's a Christian school, but uh, two friends. One, it's called Vaidya Tilak. I still remember. At your age, exactly nine. We both got an idea. We, I want to be. Uh, we we were pretending we were monks. It's funny, right? And there was one tree. We used to go around this tree, you know, thinking this is a Bodhi tree. And uh, like we were calm and you know, like going and like we were monks. And then we actually were planning to run away from school. Oh, no, I'm sorry, from home, hmm? because we know parents will not allow. Don't think like this, okay? <laughs> we were thinking like that i don't know it was like a dream or what for 3 4 days we had this thought and after that it just faded away but other than that the other days i used to get almost every other day a caning because i used to be so you know i was a little bit like you skinny not skinny as you but my hero at that time i think i told in that were you in that program i told my hero who was my hero at that time Oh, is <laughs> okay. You are right in a way. That's another one, Bruce Lee, right? Actually Bruce Lee. And I used to fight with my, you know, my parents used to have a hard time, you know, they felt really hopeless. Especially my mother, my mother was so dis- disciplinarian. He want she want me like prim and proper. She want me to be a prefect and all this dream she had. But when I want to be a monk, she liked that. It's funny. Oh, when she th- she was my first disciple also. is a funny connection i have with her anyway i used to get so angry you know anger was something um and i used to get into fits later on normal no I, when i get angry it's not normal you know it was like you no know, i used to sit down and control myself others i would kill those people you know this this was really true i'm not exaggerating 
when I was about 14, 15. No, actually, when, when I went to South Lesotho, I didn't do the fighting parts, you know, because there it was all prim and proper. And, uh, but in Sri Lanka, I, was, I used to fight a lot with anger. And I was known as a demon, you know, among my classmates. And some of them get to know now I'm a monk. And my devotee still now he's spreading metta to the whole world and all that. And those days my father's name was Dharmakit, you know. They used to call me Dharmi, I don't know how. <laughs> Dharmi, Dharmi. <laughs> Maybe I was destined for this, you know, I don't know. <laughs> But I used to be very bad, you know, very naughty. And teachers used to give me, uh, you know, whack. And my mother, when she used to remove, I told all these things, you no, know, remove my trousers, blue lines, and so on. So anyway, this anger was too much in me. Now I realized later on, then at the age of 18, I had this experience where many of my desires disappeared. Okay? I want even to go into university and all that, all that faded away. Uh, that time, before this experience, I was supposed to go, you know, Prince, I, uh, you, at your age you might not know, because later on my hero was Einstein. And because through physics, I like certain his ideas. So uh, he was last days, he was at Princeton in New Jersey. So my real the thing was to do the degree there. So when I had this experience, you know, when I used to go for walks, I had this meditation experience. Seeing like everything jelly, I'm cutting short, I don't want to... Uh, and there I thought the longest thing that will survive, like the professors will die, everything will finish, you know, the certificate I'll get or the degree will all die, uh, disintegrate. But the last thing that might remain for long will be what? The granite building, right? Okay? Now even here, this building might last longer than us. All right. So that with that meditation experience, I saw these things disappearing so fast. Leave alone me and all the other things. There my attachment or any desire for these things all faded away. And after that, getting angry, I told you, scolding people, it was five times. So how to overcome anger? It's actually not by metta bhavana. Normally we have this practice, we say, we wish metta, metta and our anger will go away. It's not a permanent solution. It is overcoming or removing our desires. Okay? For example, say you have a you have a particular toy you like. What is the toy? Mechano set or what? I used to like my mechano set. What is that? Sorry? It's a, like a little dog. It's a dog, dog, huh? Okay. Soft toy? What is the, what is it like a mukadami? Dog, okay. <laughs> okay, you hug, hug and you sleep with it or what? Okay, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, say, you have that particular toy, okay? So, if you go now, I, I don't want to be wicked, but just to get an idea, you know, If you go now and say maybe it's not there, you feel upset, right? Or you want to get another one. Maybe not, I want the same one, right? Say you know now, this will happen any time it has to get lost. It's not going to be forever with you. But say thinking like this, you know because you have a liking for that. Say another puppy, another dog like that get lost, you hear that it was lost, will you feel upset? Because you have, yeah, you are, you are not going to be upset because you don't know what it is, right? This you have some liking, attachment. Say now you think, oh, if it's going to be lost, I'm going to be unhappy. So I will give it to another friend of mine, okay? And few days you have given it and then you forget about it. Then after that you hear that boy loses that dog, you know, puppy. Will you feel upset? We probably, yeah, less, right? Less. Okay, less. So, if you, this is, uh, you find that if you don't have desires for something, if it's lost or anything, you know, I, I was a tough person, you know, sometimes no tears. Even now, I don't cry for anybody except for Buddha and I cry daily thinking of the Buddha and sometimes think of people, some sufferings. I do shed tears. But if someone come and tell me that, you know, your parents are or somebody is dead or something, I don't think I will shed any tea. I hope not. I don't think. But 
I did shed a tear when my father could not pack, put my bat into the bag. This happened. I was so attached to cricket, you know. It is true. If you meet them, you might uh, they might tell you. So she, they also didn't know I was so attached to cricket or the bat and all that. So this, when my father knew that, he quickly packed that. So it is. If so, if you want to get less angry, the best thing is to to remove whatever you know attachment is. You depend on that, and if you depend, if you if you don't if you don't have it, you will get upset. But if you don't depend on anything, nothing can make you angry. Understand? And also, anger comes because you are tired. You know, say even a monk. If you don't allow him to sleep and you don't give him dana for three, four days, <laughs> and you don't allow him to meditate, what will happen? <laughs> you will not see another bante like this. You do, oh, like this, you know? <laughs> right? You, I will feel uh, you know, like definitely, but because I keep meditating and remove my desires. No one will come to meet me. If I want to avoid some people, best thing is I should score some of you, and <laughs> then I can stop people coming to me, right? So you got an answer. You did get an answer, right? Good question. It's practical for everybody. And another thing is when you get angry. Another thing is for a moment when you get angry, it is said two months food that you eat, the energy you get from that is lost. So you can think twice before you. <laughs> Even desires is same. When you have desire, so much energy is lost. That's why someone looks uh, angry and desires, then you know he looks drained out. He looks like a, uh, you know, like. <laughs> you know, I feel it's comfortable. You know, with uh, because some of them ask, you know, monks about these yogis. One yogi asked, "Who are you? Who are you? You know, monks and yogis." This yogi answered, "I am still a child who refused to grow." <laughs> yeah, it is like that. Unfortunately, we grow into certain things and we lose all that, you know, 